presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are the way you are because of what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. Yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 388, NASDAQ's up 134, S&Ps are up 52, gold. Gold contract caught the bid. We are up uh, $20, $33, trading at $17.70. You got silver up $1.34, $18.93. Light sweet crude, flat, $96.98 a barrel. Notes and bonds. We're going to talk about notes and bonds, folks. This is pretty amazing. Fed's going up in rates, and the market's driving rates down. You get the 10-year right now up 18 ticks at 121. You get the 30-year up 17 at one at two at 143.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 157 ticks, trading 106.295. The euro is at 101. The yen is at 134, and the British pound is at 120 to one, 121 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you took out the B point and the S&P yesterday of a very large ABC up. Bottom line, spies trading 416. Your benchmark is June 1st. We're going up to 417. At the volume, you took out the B point, took it out with volume. Uh, market was tricky this morning, no doubt, but guess what, man? You're charging forward. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100, and we have Apple and Amazon coming out. And listen, we'll see what they have to say, but uh, the Qs are going to also take out the swing point today. We need uh, 57 million shares. You got 43. The Qs will do, end up doing 65 or something. That's another ABC up. Now, the differential here in the Qs is that that's going to take the Qs over the June 1st area, because when you take a look at it, you get 308, we got, uh, yeah, you get a 20, 28 A to B, uh, which is gonna give you, let's see, 92, 3, 20, 318. So 318 is somewhere, 318, one second. That's 314. Yeah, 318 is bringing us all the way back. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, 318's bringing you back to ice, man. This is going to be pretty wild. 318 is bringing you back to ice. Gold. Gold contract. We finally got price spread plus buyers, folks. We've been, the buyers have been on a strike. So what has happened is that, yeah, gold has continued to just drift lower, drift lower, drift lower. Didn't have the volume, but guess what? We, every time we try to go up, it didn't have anything happening with it. This time, bottom line, you get the wide price spread, plus you get the volume. And simultaneously, what you have here, if we take a look at this, what you're going to see, it's only a small line, but the bottom line is broke its downtrend, and that's saying the gold's going to start making its way back to 1878. Right now, you're at 1771, and that's going to be all about the good old U.S. dollar. Because if we take a look at the dollar, what you have here in the dollar, uh, your benchmark, it, it keeps basically moving back and forth, oscillating on this number. A close, it's 106.792. Right now, you're 500 ticks below it. And what that day was, that's when the dollar went up 1,700 ticks. Huge move. You, if we can get price spread, kind of like we did today, 
that is just about ready to break the uptrend in gold. I mean, in the dollar. Now to get the dollar back to 101,297. And needless to say, there's been a direct correlation inside the stock market, inside the commodity market, inside every market. The dollar has been running the market. And the bottom line, you can see every time that you get some relief in the dollar, the market wants to go higher. Now, all of that being said, I think the biggest thing out here that you want to wrap your head around is this. Now, this is about as deviant as you can get. The 10-year, folks, okay, is doing an ABC structure on the way up. And what that means in the bond market is higher price is lower yield. Well, how does this work, okay? Because the bottom line, we know the Federal Reserve went up three quarters of a point. They're probably going to just keep going, which they have to because of inflation. But the bottom line is that the market is buying the 10-year hand over fist, okay? It's broke the B point out here today. We already have enough volume. That is saying that we are going much higher, number one, and that yields are going much lower. Now, watch this. This is a total mind blow. I'm going to put the inverse chart up. This is saying that right now, let me get what yields today. Yields are at 2.67, right? This is saying that we are going to 2.14 to 2. This, if the ABC comes in, you're going back to the March 14th area. So what I did is this, is that the first chart I put up, and I'd be happy you know, to do it again, I'll show you the ABC up. That's the 10-year on the way up. This chart here is the yield chart. Bottom line, that is going to be some mind-blowing because <laughs> when you look, you got to remember something. The Federal Reserve, folks, is in charge of the Fed funds rate. Now, the Fed funds rate is bank to bank. That being said, it's very unusual that the Fed fund rate is going up and the 10 years going down. And when I say the 10 years going down, everything is predicated on the 10 year, meaning that our credit cards, housing, bottom line, rates are going down. And you can see this is, I say this is going to be one of the fastest times I've seen rates not only go up, well, I've seen them go up this fast before, but I've never seen them go down this fast after going up this fast. Uh, the high that we've hit is 3.4. So, and we're at 2.6. You can see that we're almost a, at a percent now. We're at 8 tenths of 1%. If we go to 2, that means we came right back down uh, to the 2% as fast as we went up to the 3.4. And, of course, what, that, what you'll end up seeing there because of that is that you'll end up seeing mortgage rates get pulled back, Lower structure all around. Hey, bottom line, this market wants higher price right now. We'll see what happens as we come up to the next swing point. Uh, but bottom line, it looks to me like this dollar has topped. If the dollar tops, guess what? Markets get breathing room. Commodities get breathing room. All of the above gets breathing room. We're going higher. Dow Industrials uh, right now are up 364, NASDAQ's up 125, S&Ps are up 50. You stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Fred Ernest, the CEO of Vista Gold. They came out with their numbers this morning. He's going to walk us through what is happening with Vista Gold. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development state gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? 
Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials up uh, 364. Nasdaq's up 125. S&Ps are up 50. Now let's go over to our man, Mr. Fred Ernest. Fred is the president and CEO of Vista Gold. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the American symbol VGZ. Uh, Vista is uh, building one of the uh, biggest, uh, well, they're building shareholder value in one of the Australia's largest and most advanced undeveloped gold projects. I happen to own Vista Gold. Fred Ernest, welcome back to TFNN. Well, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, <laughs> this market, Fred, has been something else, but it looks like uh, that we finally have some relief with the dollar going lower. I mean, it, 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 the dollar hasn't just been trashing commodities. The dollar <laughs> seems to be trashing just about everything. So we'll see where that whole thing shakes out. But tell us, uh, you know, you came out with your financial results last night. So tell us where we are with Vista Gold these days. Yeah, Tom, uh, thanks for thanks for asking. You know, we uh, we announced last night that uh, we ended the second quarter with $11.1 .1 million in cash. We reminded people that uh, we finished and announced results of uh, our exploration program in June. And, and one of the key takeaways from that program was that we identify, identified four targets that combined we think have the potential to, with, with future exploration, to generate another 1.8 to 3.5 million ounces of resource for the project. Obviously, that extends the life of the project. And we, and we provided a very brief update on the process that uh, we've engaged uh, CIBC Capital Markets to manage. The process is moving forward, and uh, we look forward to uh, sometime later this year being able to make an announcement as to, as to what, uh, what the process has generated. But for the time being, we're satisfied with the work that uh, CIBC is doing, and uh, things are moving forward. And there is no doubt with the dollar being so high, this has been a, probably a tough time to do anything, right? Um, let me ask you this, Fred. You know, we're in Australia, so the bottom line is that what is the correlation between the Australian dollar and the U.S. dollar and the implications to Mount Todd? How does that work? Well, certainly the, the Mount Todd project is, uh, is dependent on foreign exchange rate. You know, when, when, we look at, uh, when we look at the project, we look at the gold price and we look at foreign exchange rate. And those, those are our two biggest factors. Yes. 65, 70 percent of our capital costs will be in, uh, in denominated in Australian dollars. 
and 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 about 70 percent of the operating costs as well so so those things are very important to us now you know recently the uh the aussie dollar has displayed weakness compared to the u.s dollar and that's very favorable to the to the project uh, that helps us out a lot longer term we we expect that the aussie dollar will strengthen a little bit but their economy is behaving much the same way our economy is. And so it's, it's a very interesting dynamic to watch. And there's no doubt. Now, when we talk the price of, you know, we, we know that building a mine is very expensive, right? And the price, uh, do you have a figure yet that you may speculate in on what the all-in cost price would be, like per ounce? Uh, is it, were you that far ahead or is that question like too far ahead? No, no. Uh, we, we estimate that our all-in sustaining cost is going to be about $860 an ounce, um, plus or minus a little bit. And so that's, you know? that's an amazing price, right? I mean, that, that's the reality. That, that is a very inexpensive price. I know Newmont, when they just come out with their numbers, uh, the bottom line is that uh, they were at 1128 I think they went up to $1,228 um, you know, for some of their expenses there. Uh, yeah, and, and, certainly, and certainly, Tom, in all fairness, you know, our, our numbers are based on... Uh, numbers at the end of last year, and we're gonna be subject to some of the same inflationary increases that the producers are seeing today. But when, you know, our, our 860 was well below the top five major producers at the time we estimated the cost. And so while Newmont's costs have gone up, I expect ours are, have gone up, but we're still below I think we're below the top five. Uh, no doubt for their average cost. Right, and the the aspect of at this point uh, CBIC. So we're we're looking at for CBIC to basically either find a partnership for you, which you've explained to the TFN audience a few different times, that would come in, uh, get some equity maybe in order to build the whole mine, and or some other type of transaction that would be able to make Vista Gold move forward. Absolutely. You know, we, we have indicated that we are very open minded with regards to what that transaction looks like, whether that's a uh, whether that's a joint venture partnership or a transaction at the, at the project level or even the corporate level that what we're focused on is is a transaction that creates a value immediately and, and also provides the opportunity for improved value down the road for Vista shareholders. And you know it's amazing, folks. Okay, this is something that doesn't happen in the gold market. Can you explain a little? And what I specifically where I'm going with this, Fred, is this. Okay, is that you have uh, 118 million shares outstanding right now, and that is very unusual in the gold market. And specifically, what I mean, and I've known you guys a long time. I mean, I, I you know, I, I go back now. My God, it's. It, this time deal, Fred, is something else, isn't it? I mean, I don't even want to say, I, you know, but basically I'm going back 12, 15 years or something. And, you know, it's amazing and it's so cool that you haven't diluted the stock. So can you talk to the audience a little bit about that? Because, you know, a lot of them know because a lot of them are in the commodity market, but it's amazing that you haven't gone that route in the business. You know, it's... Uh Maintaining a tight capital share structure is one of the keys to the leverage to the gold price that we enjoy. We, uh, you know, we, we we're shareholders, just yes. just like many of your listeners, uh, and and we manage the company not as not as a hired management team, but as but as participants and owners. And uh, we run a pretty lean ship. We have a small staff. We all wear a lot of hats, and I'm very proud of the fact that. You know, we've kept our capital share structure pretty tight. You know that we only have 118 million shares issued and outstanding. Um, when many of our many of our peers have double or triple that number because they've raised a lot of money. You know, we've we've had the advantage of being able to monetize some non-core assets. Yes, but we do a, we do a lot to keep our, our our corporate expenses down. You know, to manage the the project in in a, in a very efficient manager as far as site management expenses. And, uh, and you know, the, the technical studies that, that we undertake, I think that we're as efficient or more efficient than almost anybody else in this industry when it comes to, you know, generating technical quality technical reports for the dollar. Well, from experience, I absolutely agree, like 8,000%. And, you know, anyone that's in, has been in the market for a while, particularly the gold segment, um, for some reason, and you can see, uh, you know, Mark Bristow from uh, 
Barrick, he was always hounding on it that they just destroy value, and and you have not destroyed value for so many years and worked so hard. It's it's just phenomenal. Well, listen, I appreciate the update. Uh, look forward to having you on again. And folks, it shades on the uh, NYSE and the American symbol VGZ. Check it out. Come to our website. Check it out. And as Fred just said, and I was talking. There's no dilution, okay? It's a mine. It's a huge mine, okay? Do some homework on it, okay? Because the bottom line is that, you know, this is a great crew that has been going forward for a long period of time and has an amazing track record. Fred, thank you so much. You have a great one, safe one. I look forward to having you on again. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank we'll you. Bounce. Thanks. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 389. NASDAQ's up 136. Uh, S&Ps are up 53. Now, I want to show you this ABC because this is so cool, folks. <laughs> and this is so deviant. It's unbelievable. Okay, so... What we're going to do is this. Uh, we're going to take the 10-year, um, right? And I want to show you the ABC up in the first place so I can show you the, the correlation uh, on the other side. And, yeah, there was a question about uh, um, VGZ of financing itself. So the, the finances are like this. Right now, VGZ has $11.8 in the bank. They have zero debt. And that's what Fred was talking about, the way that they've sustained themselves. Like they had a smaller mine that they sold off last year. That put another $4 million in, in the till. They will need financing or a partner to build the mine. But the bottom line is that they know how to run and, and just make it. So check it out, man. Um, I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah. And I like it. So 
We take a look at the 10 year. This is what you have. You take a look at this 10 year. You got 1.6 million contracts, and you're going to see we needed the 1.6 million. 1.61 million we needed. We already got 1.68. Okay, so when you do this, you're going to see this is a very large ABC, man. I mean, and this is where, you know, that it's important to wrap your head around the context of um, what moves what. Well, when you have less expensive rates, you know, the bottom line is that everyone's waiting for the Powell put. But watch, this is market dynamics and how market dynamics changes, folks, okay? So the bottom line is that you're not going to get a Powell put, but it looks like you don't need a Powell put. And the reason being is that right now we are at 2.25 to 2.50. The upper line, upper line is in the Fed fund rate is 2.50. They're probably going to go up another 50, 75 points. At this point, it matters. It matters what the Fed does for sure. But guess what? What matters more is this ABC structure up in the 10-year. And the reason being is that everything's predicated off the 10-year, meaning debt. So if we take a look at it, you're going to see 120.16 is your, your B point. Your A point is down there at 114.07, so it's approximately six plus pennies points. That's going to get you to approximately 124. So this is how I did this. You go, to, you find 124 first here. Watch this. This is pretty cool. So here's 124. 124. You see that trading day there? Where is that trading day? It's March 14th. 14th, March 15th. March 14th, March 15th. Remember that, okay? So the correlation when you're trying to speculate, okay, where's the rates going? This is this is what's wild. Now watch this. Okay, so here, let me finish this off first. So here's your 10-year, 124, okay? Now, if that's what we get, where do you see this? This is, now I'm going to put the yield chart up, right? So what you do, I'm going to just go back to the March 14th, March 15th area, and we take a look at this. That's March 17th. That's his March 15th right there. So let me put a line there, and then we'll see what it is. Right here is March is 15th, is the 14th. Okay. So now I got that. Now watch this. Now I'm going to put the cursor over this. It'll tell us what it is. Okay. You see when I put that cursor over it, if that ABC is the high, is 2.14%, the low is 2.0%. That, folks, is going to blow minds like left and right. Now, you can trade off this, man. This is, this is one of the biggest things to trade off right now. First we had, so picture, you, you, when, you're, when, you're, when you're speculating, right, you're trying to get as much information as you can in order to make your decision as to where you want to go in the marketplace, right? So we know the benchmark on the dollar is the strength when it went up 1,700 ticks. We know that the correlation of the dollar in the market is direct and has been direct for about six or seven well, probably since the, the first but a good six and seven weeks it's been direct beyond belief dollar goes up market gets smashed dollar goes down market can breathe bottom line is that fundamentally if the rates go down the dollar is going to go down so what does that mean that means the market's going to go up put it together man uh, it's pretty cool, and and the di <laughs> the thing that's really wild. This is the biggest part that's really wild, folks, and it comes down to the aspect that it's so convoluted, it's unbelievable. Who would ever think that the Fed goes up on rates? They're gonna, they're saying they're going to continue to go up on rates, but guess what? The market is buying them down, and the reason I suspect the market is buying them down is that yeah, things are going to slow down. But guess what? It that doesn't look to me like it's going to slow down too much because the fact is, we're talking about the real estate market and how upside down that is, okay? That, you know, we're shot 2.3 million single families a year. And, of course, as soon as the rates go up, the bottom line is that everyone gets laid off and the big, you know, builders pull back. So that comes, that basically gets rid of a lot of workers, which is really a bummer in a monster way. And then what ends up happening is that the rent structure goes up because we're already short housing. So now the rent structure goes up, 
They don't build, it goes down, they start the whole cycle over again. It's a convoluted cycle, that's the bottom line. My take is that it's gonna be, they'll do that. I'm not gonna stop building, I can tell you that. It's, it's just ain't gonna happen. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely being more cautious, and if I have to rent them, I will. And the rents are so big, that's, this was so crazy. So the rents are so big, it doesn't matter. On single families with a, so the single families, this is crazy, folks. So listen to this. Here's the number. Want to hear the number? This is unbelievable. The exact same house, because I have a few of them. I built, built them new, but kept them for rentals because I just knew, or I felt I was building this community out, and the more I built it out, the more it would be worth. Bottom line, for the main house that I used to be getting $2,800 for, when these leases are up, they, we just start signing them at $5,000. Yeah. You heard that right. The carriage house, okay, that used to basically run about eleven or twelve, is at eighteen to two thousand, and you got them lined up. Now, that sounds like a lot of money, but for where they are, it's not. What it, what has happened in St. Pete is we're actually downtown, so it's a little bit different. Meaning in the aspect, but all of St. Pete. Oh, listen, man, it's the whole country. It's not just St. Pete. It's the whole country. It's it's been that dramatic. So when those leases go up, you can see the acceleration is dramatic. And of course, it's 7,000, you know, the bottom line, you can, you know, 7,000, what, 84 grand, 84 grand, you know, says the places are worth a million bucks. And they are, we sell them for 960 or something. It's 960, it, 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 it fluctuates. But you can see the gist of it, that the interest rate structure right now looks to me like it's gonna back down, it backs down, I think this, this rally's real, man. That's, that's the bottom line. And we'll see whether it runs out of steam. And it would be the most deviant thing that the market could do, specifically because this is the worst time of the year, you know, and we've been going down since January. So it's like, okay, is this gonna be a destruction coming in? I think it looks to me like most of this destruction's over. And we'll see where that shakes out. But that's, that's you know, because the high fly, a lot of these high-flying stocks got smoked. And when I was talking with Tommy, this, he brought up a great point that, you know, if Apple, because Apple held up so well, you know, if Apple didn't hold up so well, that in every indice, that would have just smoked them. If we thought we got smoked before, you know, Apple, <laughs> that would have been a smoking beyond belief. And Apple, guess what? Apple's going to, Apple's an ABC up. So here, here look, at, look at this. This is insane. I just found this. Hey, we're going to talk about this as soon as we come back. Apple's an ABC up, man. Stay right there. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstat has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech 
today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 338. You get the NASDAQ up 112. S&Ps are up 47. So let's go take a look at this ABC on Apple, man. This is going to be pretty wild, and we'll go over to Amazon next. But you get an ABC structure here. Up. Confirmed. Okay, so here we go. Your eight point here, 156.28. You had volume of 66 million shares, okay? Bottom line, you took it out yesterday with 76 million. So, your C point here was the low of Monday. The low of Monday is 151, no, 150.30, and your price projection is 164.96 right up here which is going to bring you yeah someone up to uh, the trading of may so guess what we're going to know that at 4 30 this afternoon because that's when the numbers come out let's go on into amazon we take a look at amazon amazon is also coming out with the numbers now the difference in amazon amazon's going to come out right after the close a little different yeah definitely a different setup okay so now let's look at this amazon let me put this on a weekly. This is still. Yeah, Amazon still can't get traction. So whatever's going on in Amazon, um, I don't think this thing is going to pop. That's the way this is shaking out. So because watch what happens here. If we go on a weekly, I'll do the monthly after this. The weekly, you came down about six weeks ago with 438 million. You're going up with 300, and this week you're at uh, 225 with only a day left. That's not, you're not pushing with volume. That's the bottom line. Let me put this on a monthly. Amazon's not done yet. But see, this is, this is kind of like what I'm talking about. You know, when you go from highs to lows, well, Amazon went from, you know, 188 and we're at 121. Um, bottom line, <laughs> that's 33%. That's a big hit already. So Amazon very well just wants to consolidate more because Amazon is coming against their breakout area from April of 2020. And that's a, you know, and it's coming against it with lighter volume. The bottom line is, that, you know, you, you, you had volume there of uh, 2.4 million. First time we were down at 2.2. Next time you had 1.7. So it's getting there a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. That's telling me that uh, you're going to have divergence after the close. Now, this is what happens, of course. We were talking about this on Tuesday night also. When you had what ended up happening on Tuesday night is that Google as well as, um, what was the other one? Uh, Google and, oh my God, they both went up. Oh, Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. How can I forget Microsoft? My God. Bottom line that they both went up, that fired up the... NASDAQ, of course. In this particular case, what you're going to have is I suspect, you know, Apple could go up, Microsoft could go down. That being said, there's going to be something else that comes in there that is going to give some juice to the way up. Now, let's go take a look at the GDX since uh, we finally got something happening inside the metals market. We take a look at the GDX. GDX out here. 
You had volume yesterday of uh, 32 million. You get volume today, 29, not bad. Not great, not bad. And let's go take a look at Newmont and Barrick, because both of these, Newmont and Barrick, they were, they were basically still weak. Look at Newmont, still weak, man. Newmont's weak, something's going on there. Their costs are too big, whatever. But that's, that's a drag on the GDX, the XAU, and the HUI. Um, good, that's good. Barrick's starting to move. You know, Barrick can use more, but it's at least starting to move. You know, low was established uh, two days ago at 1480. Right now, you're trading it to 1557. Let's go into Royal Gold because all these streamers were also weak, folks. It's pretty amazing. Uh, the streamers should be picking up because, yeah, you got, okay, so Royal is up 61 cents. Could use some more volume. Franco Nevada, FNV. Okay, this got some action. Good. Thank God. Now, watch this. So Franco Nevada hit 129.79, and yet it's down two cents. But guess what? It when you get price spread like that, and we get the volume behind the move, that's gonna go. That's this is. I like how this looks. I, I definitely like how this looks. So if we get another day of this, what you're gonna see is that your downtrend that started. Well, the downtrend's been on for four months, but if this is saying that Franco Nevada just broke the trend. It's downtrend and it's going to be on the way to 148. So you get a big number. Let's go to Nico Eagle because this is also a very weak stock. And, oh, look at this. What's that about? So this, this popped two and a half points. Um, okay, so let's take a look at it. So they come out with their numbers. This gets interesting. So... An Eco Eagle took out protection against pricier fuel amid the energy squeeze uh, while hedging its foreign exchange exposure as central banks and Western world started to tighten money. The world's number one three, number three gold producer said in a statement Wednesday that it had hedged 43% of its remaining diesel exposure in 2022 and had realized about a 17 million in hedging gains related to the fuel so far this year. Other producers are starting to take another look at ways to cushion the blow of the wild swings in the commodity market. Uh, we had a view late last year that inflation wasn't going to be transitory and temporary, and Eco Eagle chief executive officer said in a phone call the Toronto-based miner took proactive measures which included physical and financial hedges on diesel with the view that prices would increase. Okay, let me just see something here. So. Let's see this, okay. Because what I want to do now is this, folks. That the hedging capabilities that I've found in companies, like, they always lose money. So let's just look at this for a second. So, yeah, see, this makes zero sense. So an Eco Eagle, okay, takes in $6 billion a year. And they're talking about they have a gain thus far of $17 million. Well, let me tell you how this works, folks, okay. When it's on your books... They, they have a gain of 17 million right now. Well, guess what? These Wall Street banks can talk these gold companies and all these other gold, all these other companies in general into all these hedges. And what ends up happening is that if these, if, if, if we stay here, I'll go lower. You, you very well could see, particularly because they're saying they took uh, a currency hedge too. It didn't say the currency hedge in there. But what ends up happening is that if, in fact, the dollar, has peaked and that's going to pull back down and if oil is peaked that's going to go back down you're going to see that loss column go up you know so i'm not a big fan of companies trading because that's what they're doing by the way okay on on the exchanges because the wall street gets them yeah you got to hedge this you got to hedge that well guess what you might as well just trade it that's that's the reality because that's exactly what they're doing dow industrials right now but 352, the Nasdaq's up 127, S&Ps are up 50. And the biggest example of that, by the way, was Delta had, I mean, South, no, Delta. Delta had one of the best hedges on ever, okay? And that was before the oil run up, and they took it off, okay? Delta would never have to work again. In fact, they, they could have, and they, anyway, you get the gist of it. They're trading it, man. Stay right there. Come right back.
The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 327, Nasdaq's up 121, S&Ps are up 48. Uh, let's go take a look at another gold stock out here. Uh, the... Uh, Okay, so you got Alamos Gold, uh, low is 651, the high is uh, 922. Uh, bottom line, you get a nice, nice pop on this today. This is a strong gold stock, folks. Um, this baby here, so, you know, what you had here is that you kept testing the bottoms, testing the bottoms, you know, bottom line, now what you did out here today, you're trying to take out the top of the consolidation, it has volume. So if we pull this back a bit, You're gonna see, yeah. Your, ne your next stop is bottom line. You get the next stop is uh, eight forty six, and you know we'll see uh, if it can handle this nine twenty two. They will be coming out with their numbers on uh, not until October. Um, and bottom line is that uh, they come out. And let's see, strong second quarter results. Uh, they get some action happening. Here we go. Okay, the revenue, gold revenue is 191 million. Earnings per share was two cents. You know, uh, the gold output. They see gold output from 440 thousand to 480 thousand an ounce. Now, what you're going to see, this is where it's going to get really intriguing, because what what ends up happening inside the commodity market. 
If, in fact, that we can get gold and silver to stop moving, if the dollar is going to come back to 101, you're going to see an expansion in a big way. In particular, you're going to see an expansion because they've been down for such a long period of time and we had no sellers for a long period of time. Okay, we didn't have buyers, but now all of a sudden the buyers step in. If you get buyers stepping in, this is a very small market, that thing can explode in a monster way. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Don't forget, come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Yeah, we'll get him, folks.